welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so today we are going to solve a bunch of questions uh, which are basically relevant with each other so these are basically starting for the question number 2.39 and the statement of this question is in a regional spelling bee the eight finalists consist of three boys okay and five girls okay so there are basically eight contestants find the number of sample points in the sample space s for the number of possible orders at the conclusion of the contest for a all eight finalists and b the first three positions okay, so what are the options for part a here uh, so again let me consider the same box for part a in which we have to consider the number of options that which one will be first second third fourth fifth sixth seven and eighth position so let me consider it here okay so we have here different positions <clears throat> this is first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eight okay so here in order to do so how many options would i have here for this position so i have here eight options because none of the contestants has uh, basically followed or occupied the space at the initial point so therefore this is eight similarly when the one contestant has been placed at the first position so uh, seven are left here so seven for the second position six for the third uh, five for the fourth position four for the fifth three for the sixth uh, two for the seven and only one for this eight position okay so after getting it we have to find out the distinct uh, order pair so therefore they have to be multiplied together because these would be what these would be the orders in which i can get the answer so it is basically what this is basically a factorial and that is basically the answer of part a uh, similarly to solve part b we have to do what we have to see the total number of possibilities for the first three positions and these are what these are basically here okay these are basically the positions which are here so in order to do so what do i have to do i have to make a slot here okay and this would be what it would be consist of these three uh, options so it is let me have first position then second then third so as we have done here there would be eight uh, possibilities for the first position similarly for the second we will have seven and for the third we will have six so eight multiplied by six multiplied by seven and this is what this is eight six fifty six so fifty six multiplied by six so this is 36 so 336 okay uh, yes so these are basically what these are the number of possible order pairs in the sample space okay so these are the number of options we have okay so this is the answer of part a this is for part b and that's what we have done okay uh, similarly now in order to uh, proceed to part 2.40 let me clean it first so after cleaning it we will see that in part 2.40 in how many ways can five starting positions on a basketball team be filled with eight men who can play any of the positions okay uh, so in how many ways can five starting positions on a basketball team be filled with eight men who can play any of the positions so this is what here we have eight men so one two three four five six seven and eight and these are basically the persons we have here okay these are the total number of options and uh, out of them we have to fill the five starting positions which are basically here okay so these are basically the five starting positions so one two three four and five these are the five positions so any one of them can take these positions here uh, so what would be the option either he will be here or he or he and so on okay so any one of them can be here 
so when this is filled out the other can be here and so on so uh, again following the same procedure in which i have to see that how many options would i have here so here i will have eight options okay here i will have seven options when this is occupied this is six here five and here four and multiplying them together i will get the answer okay so this is one of the solution another solution is the uh, we can see that here out of the eight persons i have to fill the five locations so this is the problem which is called the problem of permutations permutations so what does it mean permutations are usually represented by npr and these are basically n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so here in these sort of questions what is the value of n so these are basically the n where the value is 8 because these are the total number of options we have to get and fill the positions which are r and that is 5 okay so now let me fill out these positions and uh, we will see that what options would i have here so i will have here 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 5 factorial okay so what would i get i will get here 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial okay. uh, so let me proceed it here so it would be what this would be 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial so this is basically 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 factorial as well and here divided by the 3 factorial so uh, when i can see that these two will cancel out the answer of it will be this one okay so this is what this is basically the same thing which we have done here but this is the formula for it okay i can show you guys that this is basically the formula while this is the conventional way of doing these kind of problems okay so i hope you have understood that by using the permutation formula we can also find out the problems or tackle down the problems like this one okay so i hope it is clear now so let me proceed to the question 2.41 so find the number of ways that six teachers can be assigned to four sections of an introductory psycho psychology course if no teacher assigned to more than one section okay so again this is the same uh, type of question here we have six teachers so let me reduce the number here to six so when the numbers are reduced to six so it would be here six teachers and we have here four options so let me remove it as well okay so it will be here four and now removing them as well here okay so what i will get here i will have r is changed and is also changed so let me use the r equal to what r is four and n is equal to uh, six okay and uh, here by putting these values i will get factorial divided by 6 minus 4 is 2 factorial okay. so is if, if these are 6 so therefore this thing is also changeable okay. so we have four options and out of those four options we have six teachers for the first one we have six options then for the second i have five then four then three and these have to be multiplied together because the total number of options is now six so therefore now uh, also putting the values here in this formula by the formula method what we can do here is that here we can also have six multiplied by five multiplied by four multiplied by three multiplied by two factorial all divided by the two factorial these two will cancel out and we will see that the answer of it is just like here we have in this question okay so this is the same method we have previously seen so uh, i hope uh, the questions now are clear to you guys in this uh, questions or in this video we have covered three questions which are one two three in our next video we will try to uh, solve the three remaining problems which are 2.42 43 and 43 okay so uh, i hope the concept is now clear and i will see you with the similar type of questions in our upcoming video see you soon